Hi, my name is Hamid. In this video, I give you an introduction how you can use the open source Havimo calibration tool. After running the program, you first need to select the hardware configuration you use to connect to the Havimo vision module. There are five available options USB to dynamic tool for a fast connection where you need also to power the camera externally, Robo Builder, CM5, CM510, and a direct connection. For this video, I set up a connection using the Robotis CM5. For starting the communication, you need to put your CM5 in the Manage mode. The serial communication port should be selected in the next step. After clicking on the Connect button, the communication will be initialized. The Manage LED stops blinking and remains on. This means that the communication is initialized successfully. Now we can check if the module can be detected. The result is shown in the status bar. Now you can capture and download an image from the module. Sampling can take from a few hundred milliseconds to a few seconds depending on your connection type. Two copies of the sampled image are presented. A 3D view of the color space lets you select the objects easier. Each cube in the 3D view represents a color entry. The size of the cube shows the density of the color value. For defining a color set, you need first to select the destination category. Seven different color categories can be selected. There are two ways of marking colors. In the first method, you can directly click on the original image. The selected areas of the image are shown in the lookup table overlay view. The corresponding cubes are also marked in the 3D view. The second way is to mark the cubes in the 3D view. If you mark the wrong color, simply select the background category and click on the cube to erase the selection. The option Interpolate fills the color cubes inside the color range and helps selecting similar colors faster. Similarly, I define two other color categories. As you see, the 3D color space view makes the selection of the colors very easy. After finishing the color definition, the resulting lookup table should be written to the flash of the vision module. This is done by clicking the flash lookup table button. The lookup table can be read back from Havimo using the read lookup table button. Reading the lookup table or writing it may take several seconds depending your hardware connection type. Congratulations! Your vision module is calibrated. Now you can preview the results of the available image processing algorithms. The first image processing algorithm is the region growing. In this algorithm, the connected regions of the same color are detected. The results are presented as boxes around the objects. The second available function is called greeting. It calculates the density of the detected pixels in a grid of 32 times 24 on the image. The algorithm can be used to recognize more complex shapes. As you see, the hole in the middle of the triangular object is also detected. The results are overlaid on the static image captured once from the camera. Now let's move the objects and see the results again. Now capturing a new image and the overlays match the image. You can also save your lookup tables on the disk and load them again. If you use the module in different configurations, this would help a lot. There are some options available for editing and exchanging the color categories. You can entirely erase the selected category using the Erase Color button.
the button erase lookup table erases all selected colors. Now we load the lookup table we have saved before and continue our work. For exchanging two color categories, you should first select the radio button belonging to the source category. Then from the list below the exchange button, select the destination category. Pushing the exchange button completes the action. It's often important to adjust camera parameters before preparing a lookup table. The calibration tool gives you access to these parameters via its camera settings tab. You need to activate auto update settings to be able to change the parameters. There are three groups of settings you can change with slide bars and checkboxes. The first group adjusts the image settings. The second group is for the color and the third for post processing options. You can enable auto exposure and auto white balance which lets the camera internally adjust the values for you. You can see the change on the slide bars. You can sample an image to see the effects of the change of the settings on the image. There is also a possibility to directly write into the camera registers which needs knowledge about the camera chip. More information can be found in the camera datasheet. You can also reset the camera parameters to the factory defaults if you need. It is also possible to flip the image via camera settings. This can make the hardware installation of the camera easier. I hope this tutorial has been useful for you and helped understanding how Havimo works. Encourage contributions in the development of the open source software. You can access the source code and download the binaries on www.sourceforge.net slash projects slash Havimo. Thank you.